Charleston, South Carolina is home to many things. Beautiful moss covered trees, colonial historic homes, and some of the most photogenic locations in the South. With all that history packed in one spot, you're bound to get a myriad of twisted tales and spooky taunts. Today, we're taking a look at the haunted history of Charleston and the legacy these locations have left for posterity. The Pink House is one of Charleston's oldest structures, built in the 17th century. It first originated as a tavern and a brothel, and then later became a law office in the 20th century. Over the years, there have been many rumors of ghostly encounters inside the Pink House. One of the most commonly reported sightings is of a female apparition walking up and down the stairs and hallways, who some believe to be infamous pirate Anne Bonny. Today, the Pink House is privately owned and is in the process of being renovated and converted into a single family home. Even amongst its colonial style neighbors, the Pink House stands out as a striking testament to the over 300 years of history that has taken place in this very spot. Prior to the old jail being completed, the Provost Dungeon housed infamous pirates awaiting trial, including Steed Bonney and his crew. According to Ghost City Tours, visitors have reported claims of encounters with dark entities. Hearing terrifying screams and moans, seeing dancing orbs, and even feeling as though invisible hands were wrapped around their throats. Today, it is a non-profit historic site that focuses on the American Revolution and Colonial Charleston. White Point Garden, also known as Battery Park, was a defensive seawall and promenade that saw action during the early days of the Civil War. Its name derived from the oyster shells that were bleached white on the shores of this very area back when early colonists arrived. According to legends, pirates convicted of crimes were publicly hanged in the center of the park here, including infamous gentleman pirate Steve Bonney and his crew. Over the years, visitors have reported seeing apparitions appearing to be hanging from the trees. Today, this historic landmark is home to statues and relics of its wartime era. And then, of course, you have these gorgeous views of South Battery Street with the mansions lining the entire coast. On any given day in the park now, you can find tourists strolling the pathways, looking at the many different monuments and statues, locals walking their dogs or even going on a daily run, and maybe even a wedding down at the gazebo. The Old Charleston Jail is a landmark of historic significance to the history's dark past, jailing high seas pirates in the early 1800s to Union prisoners of war during the Civil War. It's rumored that the city jail is haunted to this day by those who perished while incarcerated here. Today, the old jail is undergoing a $15 million renovation project to convert some of the areas in the jail into multi-unit tenant offices. And while eventually the exterior and interior of this building will look different, it still serves as a dark reminder to the history's lost voices from an older time. The Unitarian Church was built in 1772 and is the second oldest church in Charleston. What makes this cemetery unique is the overgrown, somewhat neglected appearance of everything around us, but that's intentional. The Unitarians believe that the overgrowth and foliage represented life after death. And in a lot of ways, it actually represents the city itself, beauty from ashes. One of the most famous ghost stories of the Unitarian Church Cemetery is of a lady in white who's said to roam at night looking for her long lost lover. It's rumored that she's the basis for Edgar Allan Poe's poem, Annabelle Lee. Like many of the church cemeteries and graveyards around the Holy City, the Unitarian Churchyard is a beautiful sanctuary set apart from the hustle and bustle of the busy streets just outside it. Whether you're a visitor or a local, it's virtually impossible to go anywhere in Charleston without feeling its historic influence wherever you go. From the restaurants, shops, museums, graveyards, and colonial homes, everything here in Charleston has a story to tell. And if you're paying close attention, you just might get it.